When using Apache Doris for data science purposes, users often move large datasets from Doris to Python or Java. Before Apache Doris 2.1, such huge data transfer was executed via PyMySQL, Pandas, or JDBC, which turns out to be slower than needed. Thus, Apache Doris 2.1 supports high-speed data transfer based on Arrow Flight SQL. It allows users to efficiently read large datasets from Doris in multiple languages. In this video, we will demonstrate how to load data from Doris using Arrow Flight SQL in Python and execute common DDL and DML operations after connecting to Doris. The first part is a demonstration of executing various common syntax. On the left is the code for database and table creation, data import, and querying. Step 1 we install the relevant third party libraries for Python. It is required to use Python 3.9 or newer. Step 2 create a client to interact with the Doris Arrow Flight service. The host, Arrow Flight port, and username password here should be the same as those of Doris FE. Next, we can use the returned cursor to interact with Doris using SQL. We can pass the query to the cursor execute function. Then, we execute the create database and create table statements, and then import some test data into the created table using the insert into command. Now we perform a query on the table. Finally, we close cursor. Now let's run the code and observe the execution results of each step. The return status result is zero. This indicates a successful query execution. We can see that all the statements are executed successfully, and the query result is printed. The second part is a demonstration of loading large datasets from Doris into Python using Arrow Flight SQL. Apache Doris supports multiple ADBC APIs to load the ClickBench dataset from Doris into Python. In this demo, we take the PEP249 standard API as an example. Similarly, we establish a connection with the Doris Arrow flight service. Then we use the cursor to execute SQL statements. After that, we call fetch all arrow to get query results in arrow format. Then we convert the results into pandas data frame, so we can use them for subsequent data science computation. Run this code, and we can see that it takes 3 seconds to load this ClickBench dataset, which is about 780 megabytes in size and consists of 1 million rows and 105 columns. The data results are as expected. We tried other APIs and they all returned results in around 3 seconds. Thanks for watching. If you need further guidance, join our Slack community and the Doris makers will be happy to help.